Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we are taking a look at DPR Ian's Scaredy Cat. Real quick, I did just release a whole bunch of shirts in the description below. All of them are based off of my tattoos, with the exception of a couple. One of my favorites is this inverted rose, and then another is this heart on fire, but there's a whole bunch more too. So if you want to support the channel, check the link in the description below, and you get a discount on your first purchase. With that out of the way, let's jump right on into the video. DPR Ian? and DPR in general are some of my favorite groups. Like they are the only groups that I'll actually listen to on my own. Okay, got a broken mirror, got some interesting camera angles. This sticks out a lot. The title card is backwards. It's like reflected. It's like this entire video is gonna be from the point of view of DPR Ian inside of a mirror or something. It looks beautiful. So everything is gonna be taking place inside. Kind of got that from the lyrics. What? Oh, what is he on? This is really beautiful so far. So his makeup is very reminiscent of like the Joker. He has that smile on him, which could be how everyone else views him. Just going off of the lyrics, it's like he's asking for help. He's saying that he's drowning and he's drifting away and no one's gonna lend that helping hand. So no one obviously sees that he's hurting. So there's a smile on his face even when he's not smiling. But what is he writing here? These walls are all like distorted too. Is that just luggage? Is he going to his room? Got some horns. Ah, oh, it's so colorful. Ah, oh, I have actually heard this song. Yeah, I've, I've heard this song. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There's like this dark and gritty tone to the video. They're doing that just like with the color grading, like everything is within that like green spectrum. Again, just like the Joker and the Dark Knight. Like that green is like a sinister kind of color. It's like a very off-putting color. The reflection on fire? Ah, there's like, there's a lot of stuff to look at actually. There's this like little spotlight going back and forth, which could be a reference to the beginning of the video talking about like there's a manhunt, so it could be like the police looking, right? Do you agree? Or no. Or it could just be his paranoia. Like he feels like someone is looking for him. Him covering his eyes, he's like blind, obviously, but he's also wearing an eye as a ring. I don't know. I think I'm scared. Ooh. I have no Ooh. <laughs> yes, please. Ah, mochi. Oh. Never mind. That's not at all what I thought it was. I thought he was like in a straitjacket or something in this reflection. That would have been really cool because his reflection and then the version that we're actually seeing of him singing would be like different. It would show him being like that prisoner, but it's not. It is in black and white. So there is that. But it's definitely not the shot that I thought it was. Oh. See, he's, he's in a straight jacket right there. Oh, beautiful. So is he trying to he's trying to break out? Okay, so he is the person the police are looking for. Cause they said something about him missing an eye and that is just cool in itself. Like he's probably just wearing a contact, but there is a the possibility they did that in post, but he's probably wearing a contact. Oh. The camera movements are so off-putting too. The camera's floating around, kind of just like a fly on the wall. But the camera doesn't really stay level. And that is a nice touch because he's supposed to be so paranoid. A camera off axis is like, something is not right. And the camera never really stays level. It floats around and it just like, is a good representation of his mental state because sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. This shot of him under the table, using the gun as a phone. It looks so good. He's framed between these two columns. The columns really help that claustrophobic feel. It makes him feel like a lot smaller. Okay. Beautiful. Oh. I don't remember 
the song switching up like that. I feel like this could be like him dying or something. His mouth is taped shut, so he can't talk. It's like the green of this table is kind of like grass and there's roses growing out of him. I don't know, I know it's a stretch, but that's kind of what it feels like to me. Okay. Ooh. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Just this real harsh spotlight, like most of his body is in the darkness. Most of this room in general is in the darkness. There's light on the other side of that door, but obviously that door is closed. It's like that light is just shedding light onto him. Hello? That's what lights do. But metaphorically, <laughs> I'm sad that there's not more going on with the mirrors. He could just have no reflection. Why was the title card mirrored if mirrors aren't gonna be that big of a thing in this video. Lots of stuff are reversed though. There's a lot, lots of shots that are reversed. It's a beautiful performance. It's interesting that... Whoa. So it's interesting that he's saying that he's afraid, yet the camera is looking up to him. So he's presenting himself like powerful. Normally with the camera revolving around him, we would see all sides of him, but he is revolving with the camera. He's only showing the one side of himself. What is he looking at? Is he looking at himself? Is those, are there two different versions of him? Is the one in a straight jacket different from the one in the suit? There we go. So this has been changed. All of this is desaturated. Like this piano would be reflecting some sort of colors and it's not. So they're messing around with the reflection a little bit, but I wish that they just, they would have done it more. Okay. Beautiful. Like, it looks so good. So simple, too. He's just kind of by himself in this hotel. I feel like there has to be two different sides of him, right? I think the one in the straight jacket is different from the one in the suit. That ending shot kind of confirms that there's two different versions. Like, there's the normal version and then the black and white version. And that black and white version we keep seeing in the reflection. So maybe the version of him in the reflection is the one that he, like, puts out to the world? I don't know. I want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Charity, Jemmy, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, and Victoria. If Patreon is available where you are, I do have YouTube channel memberships. If you want to support the channel, go buy a shirt. If you want me to look at more of DPR's videos, go ahead and subscribe and all right, all right.